Something exciting to happen on Friday Night Smackdown. We'll get to the first match of the night, but before we talk about the first match of the night, we gotta talk about a segment that happened backstage. So we see uh, Jay Uso walking backstage, and then Grayson Waller comes walking up to him. Grayson Waller's told him, uh, you know, Jay's match against Roman and all that stuff at SummerSlam and all that stuff. So yeah, that's what Grayson Waller is talking about. But then Grayson Waller was talking about how he faced the likes of Edge and stuff, and that uh, he can give Jay Uso that Grayson Waller rub, you know. And Jay Uso gets pissed off, and he just pushes Grayson Waller down to a bunch of crates. So, yeah, uh, that's what happened there. They'll probably have, have a match later on tonight. But, yeah, that's what happened there. And then we get to the first match of the night. It was Rey Mysterio versus Santos Escobar in a number one contenders match. Winner of this match will be facing Austin Theory in a few weeks on Friday Night SmackDown for the United States Championship. So, yeah, that's what this match is all about. And speaking about Austin Theory, he was watching this match from the Skybox. So, yeah, that's where he was watching this match from. But, yeah, it was a pretty good match for the most part between Santos and Ray. Uh, they was going back and forth and everything, you know, doing doing little lockups and stuff like that. And then eventually he started going at it after they you know, slapped each other a few times. And then, you know, they're just going at it and stuff. And it was becoming a good match for, like, the most part. And then we get to the ending of it. So what happened at the ending was... Both of them got outside of the ring, uh, Ray and Santos, and uh, Ray Hurricanrana and Santos into the ring apron, knocking him down. Ray gets back into the ring, runs and hits the ropes, but then comes down, pretty much sliding across the mat to dive onto uh, Santos, but Santos moves. So Ray crashed and burned outside the ring, pretty much. Santos gets back into the ring, and then he runs up and hits a suicide dive onto Ray Mysterio, taking him out. And then SmackDown goes on a commercial break. But then comes back on, and then all of a sudden we see the doctors checking on Ray. And then the referee had a call off the match, and then the winner of this match was Santos Escobar. So yeah, uh, Santos Escobar defeated Rey Mysterio uh, via ref stoppage. So yeah, uh, that's what happened there. Apparently during the match he got injured from the suicide dive. Uh, I'm thinking it's just, you know... I don't think it's a real injury because Ray got back up and after Santos was trying to apologize to him and he hugged Santos and all that stuff. So yeah, I think it's just, you know, that is giving Santos the win pretty much without him actually beating his mentor, you know. Uh, but yeah, that's what happened there. It was okay. It was a pretty good match for like the most part. I hate ref stoppages, but it's that's what happened. And yeah, I'll give the match two stars. That's what I'll give it. Uh, but then after that, we see uh, Kayla Braxton backstage and she's interviewing Bianca Belair. Bianca was talking about how she's getting her chance for the Women's Championship up against Charlotte Flair and Asuka at SummerSlam. But yeah, Bianca got interrupted by the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, uh, Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green. And they come out, come up talking about how... You know, it's been 11 days at eight, and they still didn't get championship celebration stuff. So, yeah, that's what it was talking about. And Bianca was getting, uh, you know, she was getting irritated by them and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, Bianca was like, well, how about this? I got a triple threat match next week and all that stuff. But we can have one tonight. I can beat both of y'all down or whatever. All by myself. And then Charlotte Flair comes up, and Charlotte was like, well, I'm getting tired of everybody talking behind my back pretty much. So, Bianca, let's team up and let's take these two on then. And Bianca said, like, no, I don't trust you. And, um, you know, Charlotte was like, well, that's even more better. I'm going to go talk to Adam Pearce. I'm going to make this tag team match happen. So, yeah. Uh, and then she walked away. But, yep, that's what happened there. But, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Friday Night SmackDown. See you guys later until then.